A brand new emergency vehicle training facility opens in Otay Mesa. Heather Lake shows us how it will help the community. Well, this is definitely the first of its kind, $32.4 million. And we're going to talk about how people are training here, our sheriff's department, and anyone who basically drives an operation, an emergency operation vehicle, is going to get a new style of training here. It used to all happen at Qualcomm, but now that that is completely taken apart, this is a new place. And if you take a look around, you can definitely see that there is plenty of space for the training to happen right here for all of our first responders in San Diego. I'm going to talk to Michael Pepin, a sergeant at the sheriff's department, about how this works. So, you guys have been working on this since October 2020 and probably many years before to try to acquire this land, get everything working out and the plans going. Kind of cool to see that it's all finally, uh, you know, grand opening is today. Yeah, absolutely. This has been a labor of love. Um, I started working on this project about nine years ago. So having this and being the first of its kind in the county is amazing. I think for a lot of us, we realize that you have to go through training with weapons, but you don't think about training with the vehicles. This is very important for everybody who's getting in, whether it's a, a fire truck, um, a normal deputy vehicle, an ambulance, all of that's going to be happening here. All right, absolutely. Driving is a huge part of what we do as first responders a lot. You drive every day. So getting there fast and getting there safe is like very important. Yeah. Talk about what's going to happen out here, what kind of training they can do, because obviously they're going to learn how to go on, on normal streets if they were doing an emergency response, but there's all kinds of different training that will happen. There's even ways to learn how to stop um, do corners quickly. Uh, if you're following an ambulance or a fire truck, all of the different training happens right here. Right. So the area that we've been looking at, this is our high speed track. So this is where we do our emergency response training. We also have a loop that goes for our collision avoidance. So as we're driving fast, if something jumps out in front of us, how do we safely get around that with, you know, without getting involved in a collision? We are not able to do this anywhere else in the county. Mm -hmm. So having this opportunity and being you know, close to other facilities, it's phenomenal. Yeah, and this can also serve as a different kind of track on weekends or other trainings. Um, you said you can also train uh, teen driving courses can go here. And obviously there's a lot of very fast vehicles in San Diego where people are asking for this course on weekends um, for, for other types of different racing opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, since we lost Qualcomm Stadium, there hasn't been any other venue for us to do any of the higher speed like street uh, legal or teen safe driving stuff. So once we get everything on the training side settled down, we'll be able to open this up on the weekends to provide those opportunities again. Yeah, Porsche, BMW, all of those Corvette. car companies, the Corvette that are hoping to say, and then that'll help you guys with funding as well to repave the roads, keep all of these trainings going, because if not, you guys would basically have to send people out of the county for those kind of trainings. Right, our closest venue similar to this is San Bernardino. Okay. Uh, feasibly, that doesn't work because it's a huge cost and getting all the resources up there it really just isn't possible. Yeah. So being able to do that is great. All right. Well, the first of its kind here in San Diego. Absolutely. All right. For more information on what's going on out here, if you want to see um, all of the details on the Emergency Vehicle Operations Center that is new in Otay Mesa, go to fox5sandiego.com. Just click on that scene on top. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio for now.